Hello my strange and charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. So today I wanted to do something of a coffee break style vlog um, that I do for you guys every once in a while, but this time I wanted to do something that was a little bit more of a behind the scenes. Um, and a behind the scenes specifically about how I film and edit and upload my videos to YouTube. So, I mean, clearly I'm not going to be able to show you the entire process of how to do that because from start to finish, it does take several hours. I mean, it normally takes me maybe hmm, something like an hour or so just to prepare for a video, like getting ready with my hair and makeup and, um, you know, figuring out which video I'm going to film and the points I need to make and things like that. Um, and then Usually it takes me another hour at least to film the footage. Um, so, you know, sitting in front of the camera, you know, making sure my lights and everything are set up and then editing and uploading, you know, it can take a while. But I thought that I would basically give you guys a rundown of how I film um, because I know I get a lot of questions about this. And I thought it might be helpful for some of you who are starting out and maybe want to start a YouTube channel, but you're not really sure about the equipment that you need and software that you need um, and all that jazz. So so that is what we're going to be talking about today. So I've actually got the help of my iPhone here because I'm actually going to do like a dual screen sort of thing in this video um, because I know I get asked a lot to show you guys what it looks like when I'm filming. So I'm going to film right now um, what it looks like for me filming this video. So as you can see in the video from my iPhone, I'm sorry that the quality is going to be a little different from my actual DSLR, but right in front of me on a tripod, I've got my DSLR. And the camera that I film with is the Canon EOS Rebel T5i. I think it's a great camera. Absolutely love it. Um, I love the quality. I specifically love that little screen that pops up. You guys can see it. So I can actually see myself and make sure I'm in focus and all that jazz. Now, the next thing that we've got here is my lens. Um, the lens that I use, and I'm really sorry, I'm gonna try to stabilize this video for you guys, um, is the Canon Zoom Lens EFS 18 to 55 millimeter. 3.5 is the maximum aperture on that lens. So this is the lens that I use to film and the camera. Now you might notice that I've got a special microphone on top. That's a bullet microphone. Um, I'm not actually sure the name of it because it's not a, um, I don't think it's like a popular name brand. I actually bought it off of Amazon. So I will um, go ahead and probably insert the name of that or probably leave a link down in the description box. And of course down in the description box, you guys are gonna be able to see a whole bunch of links for things that I'm gonna mention in this video to help you guys out. But that is basically the setup I use for filming. And you can see it's just seated right in front of me. And for any of you who are curious to know, um, let's see, the settings on my camera as I'm filming are, I'm filming at 60 frames per second, um, which I think is good, I don't know. Um, and I'm at the 3.5 aperture and I've got my ISO at 1600, um, which is pretty high for an ISO, um, but I don't get any natural light in the room that I film in, which is my office. I just have this really great, um, I actually have like a daylight bulb up in my um, ceiling lights. I've got two of those. And then I film with two umbrella lights. And I will also leave a link in the description for where you guys can get these um, they have a name on it. It says LS Photo Studio Pro. These are really inexpensive lights. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Just two umbrella lights sitting there. Um, I probably am going to upgrade these lights pretty soon. I actually think that they're a pretty good quality light, but I think I need more power because they're just one single bulb in each of them. And I know a lot of other YouTubers use kind of more professional lighting that has like multiple bulbs in it um, and it produces like obviously a brighter effect. So if I could get my lighting to be a little bit better, like in, in this office, I'd actually be able to bring the ISO on this video down to a more reasonable range, like 400, uh, maybe 200. And in case you guys aren't don't know what I'm talking about, not sure what I'm saying right now, ISO is basically a setting on a camera, like a DSLR, but all cameras have you know, ISO, things like that, if they're a digital camera. Um, just you may not be able to 
manipulate the ISO. Usually a lot of point and shoot cameras, a lot of the settings are automatic. Um, but with a DSLR, obviously you have, you have a lot of options with that. So I tend to film all my DSLR in manual. So I like to control everything. My frames, uh, like my shutter speed, which is that 60 frames per second. Um, the 3.5 aperture is the maximum aperture, which means that my camera's letting in as much light as it can, but this room is still pretty dark even with the artificial lighting, so I have to boost the ISO, which is the sensitivity of my camera's sensor, to 1600. Um, let's, to give you kind of, uh, I guess, a comparison, if I was outside in broad daylight, the ISO would be like nothing, like 100 maybe, um, if that. Um, but because I'm in this dark room in my apartment and there's no natural lighting in here, and my lights aren't super, super bright, um, I have to raise my ISO. So these are things that I think about <laughs> when I'm thinking about upping my quality of my, of my videos for you guys. So this is currently how I film. So that covers my camera, my lens, my lights, my microphone. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna talk about is other accessories that you might need while you're filming. Um, we already talked about the fact that I've got a tripod here, which is pretty much a necessity because I have no one that helps me film for the most part. Sometimes Mike, my husband, if we're filming on the weekends, he might help me by like starting the camera for me or helping me get it focused, but um, no one's like holding my camera. I don't look like a cameraman because I'm a one woman show here. Um, so I do have a tripod. Now I don't know the name of this tripod because I didn't buy it. I actually got this. Um, it was my grandfather's tripod and when he passed away, I took it. Um, I, I was allowed to take it basically. So this is the, the tripod I use. And I wouldn't say that it's like the most professional or like the highest grade tripod. It's probably incredibly old, but it has sentimental value. So that's why I use it. Um, but I can definitely leave you guys a few recommendations for really high quality tripods um, down in the description, because I will say that tripods are really important. Um, if you've got a nice DSLR camera, or even if you don't have a nice, like a super nice DSLR, even if you have a point and shoot, the last thing you want is for your tripod to be flimsy and then fall over and then your camera breaks. Like that's obviously a nightmare situation. So having a nice tripod is really important. So I'll leave you guys some recommendations down in the description box. Another thing that I film with um, that I'm gonna show you really quickly <laughs> is I use a piece of white foam core um, to act as a reflector um, when I'm filming. And it's something that I normally keep somewhere really close in front of my face. So right Right now as I'm filming this, you can see I've got this white foam core and it's just literally resting on my knees and resting on the tripod. So basically what's happening is I'm creating like a sphere of light around myself to, to make my video as bright as I can make it because that ultimately really helps the quality of your video when you have really great lighting. So I've got my two lights that are bouncing. I'm behind, a, I'm in front of a white wall and that's bouncing light off the wall and it's also coming back onto this reflector. And this white reflector is also bringing a lot of light to my face. So let, let me go ahead and show you. Take a nice good look at me right now because I'm gonna remove the reflector. I just put the reflector down. I don't know if you can tell, it's a, such a slight difference, but when I put the reflector back up, do you see that my face just glowed a little bit, like a little glow just came to my face? <laughs> That's from the reflector. So the reflector, you can use, um, I mean, there's professional reflectors that you can buy for photography, but foam core board, you guys, like 50 cents at like AC Moore or at craft store at the dollar store. Um, so I just use a piece of foam core and if it gets dirty or grimy, I replace it, it's no big deal. Um, but you can get professional reflectors. You can also use mirrors. Some people use mirrors to act as reflectors. They're also really great um, reflectors. But I like to use a nice big piece of white foam core board as my reflector. So other than that, that's pretty much my set, my whole setup here. And so that's really everything I've got, um, you know, gear wise for my filming. Um, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is how I edit my videos. So I actually edit my videos in iMovie. iMovie is an application that comes standard on most Apple computers, all Apple computers. I don't want to say all because I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure it's standard on like all laptops, computers that you get from Apple. I don't know if it's standard on like an iPad, um, but it's definitely standard on the computers. And I've been using 
iMovie since 2006 when I bought my first Mac. So iMovie is a really great application. Um, I know that it's a consumer grade product, so it's not like as expensive um, or as full featured as something like Final Cut Pro, which is another program that a lot of YouTubers and people who do videography use to edit their their videos, um, but it really is super powerful. And I've really never, I've never experienced a situation where iMovie couldn't do for me what I needed for needed it to do. Basically, um, it's always been able to do everything I need, and I really love the quality of the videos that come out. And you know, you guys are the ultimate judge. Like, if you think my videos are great quality, um, that's iMovie. So it doesn't take any special training or anything like that to use iMovie. It is pretty self-explanatory, but there's plenty of tutorials on. Online. So if you've got a Mac and you have iMovie, you're not sure how to use it, I'll try to find you some links to some tutorials down below. I'm not, I'm definitely, I don't think that I'm going to be ever doing a tutorial on iMovie um, just because, you know, it's not necessarily my speciality like video editing. I know what I need to know to edit my videos. Um, and I'm always picking up like new tips and tricks from other YouTubers and just doing research. So I would definitely suggest if you've got iMovie and you want to use it to edit your videos, definitely give it a try, test it out. Now, for anyone who does not have a Mac, obviously Macs are obviously not the only computer out there. I'm not dumb. I know that that's not the only computer that people can have out there. But on um, a Windows computer, I believe that Windows computers come with Windows Movie Maker, perhaps. Um, and if not, it's an application that I think is relatively, um, it's a good value. I think it's not like, it's definitely not as expensive as Final Cut Pro. Um, so there are different options for you based on your computer and what your situation is. So definitely do your research and figure out what programs are available for your computer. Um, because that's very important that you get a program that will work with your system, not just your operating system, but actually like, you know, the graphics cards and the processors that are in your computer, um, because every computer is different. So, um, you know, I use iMovie because it comes with my computer. You might use Windows Movie Maker because it may come with yours. Or you may want to use a professional program like Final Cut, which is absolutely fine. Just make sure that you're checking the parameters of your computer, the specs of your computer before you purchase any software to make sure that it's compatible and to make sure that you can actually run the program on your computer without any issues. So those are my tips on movie editing. So that is about it for how I film and edit and upload my videos to YouTube. I hope that this was an informative video for you guys and it gave you some tips um, and answered some questions. Of course, I know that you guys are probably gonna have way more questions now on the topic, so leave them down below in the comment section and I will of course respond to as many of your questions as possible. If you see that someone else has actually asked your question, try not to start like a new thread. You can just kind of piggyback on someone else's comment so I'm not answering the same question over and over. I would really appreciate that because it would save me time and make sure that I have the time to answer each and every one of your questions. So make sure to leave me a comment if you have questions. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a like, um, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, you guys, bye bye